everyone, it's Paulette here. I have a story time as I drive to work this morning. It is a cautionary tale of the self-managed landlord. So in the last two weeks, we've received a couple of calls. We're growing our rent roll and we received a couple of calls, people making inquiries. And both of these landlords have multiple properties. And with one of their properties, they have major issues. One which I'm dealing with myself and one that um, Rob Woolmer, the head of um, property management, is dealing with, are both the same circumstance, good tenant, long term, and then suddenly something changes. So in the Bedford property that I'm helping um, our new landlord um, that's just signed up with us deal with is someone that she's had in there for a really, really long time. Look, he hasn't even had any rent increases. When things are a little bit down, he asked for a rent reduction maybe about five years ago. She's had this tenant for eight years and then hasn't been able to put the rent back up um, because he, well, won't, frankly, won't agree. And when it comes to disputes like that, what we're finding is that when the tenant's circumstances change or they sort of realise they can get one over, frankly, get one over the, te- um, the landlord, then they will. This particular lady, she's in her 70s. She's managing these on her own and um, she's feisty, fit, has not had an issue before, but he is belligerent. He is, look, he's actually paying the rent every week, but he has not allowed her access to the property since March this year. And it's actually the property she grew up in. So she's been, it's been in her family for a really, really long time. And when she drives past, it just it kills her because the whole property is becoming slowly dilapidated over time. The gardens look horrible and she can't get inside. So she has no idea what's happening to this child, you know, this her childhood home. So she has tried Form 19s nicely, 14 days notice, just a normal rent, so just a normal inspection. He hasn't allowed it. Um, she let that sort of go for about three months. He became intimidating. He won't, he's, he won't, he's changed his phone. She doesn't know his email now. She can't get hold of him. The only way to serve notices um, is for her to put them in the mailbox or hand them to him. He won't answer the door. He doesn't leave the house now. Clearly something has had a major shift in his life, but now he won't allow access. So we've taken over and... We've had to start the whole process again. So Form 19, which is 14 days notice, can we get in the home? Try to, you know, speak to him and say, look, can we resolve this? No, can't get hold of him. Um, Left notes and messages in his mailbox. Last time I went there after the Form 20, I noticed he's not checking his mail. Like the mail box is stuffed full. So served him um, a Form um 1A that is the 60 days notice. So we actually gave him 60 days as well. We didn't need to. Gave him 60 days notice and um, we don't know if he opened it. We just you just you We just don't know. So I went to check a couple of weeks ago um, just to give him a letter just saying, hey, look, can we resolve this? Is everything okay? I noticed he was looking at me through the, the window. Um, look, the owner has had confrontations um, since March where she's gone over to try and speak to him and he's uh, saying that she's bullying him. We're talking about a four foot two, 72 year old lady. <laughs> and uh, he um, is saying that she's intimidating and she's uh, bullying him and, and all the rest of it. So when I, you know, had to, I went there with a staff member to hand him um, a letter to, or just to have some type of discussion with him and you know, it got heated, he threw the letter back at me and 60 days were up yesterday. Cut a long story short, 60 days were up yesterday, went to the home to see if he had moved out. Clearly hasn't. Car hasn't been moved in probably two years and um, <clears throat> met the owner at the front just to tell her what's going to happen next. And today we'll be putting in Form 12 um, court orders to get him out of the property. He met us, he saw us, um, he actually came out of the house and then he just went insane. We spoke to the neighbours, the neighbours have said they don't speak to him and when they do, he's angry. 
look, this is what <laughs> this is what happens. This this can happen. This is difficult. And what happens when you have got a difficult um, tenant who's been great, and then suddenly something changes in their life? It is hard. If you own that property and you're a good person um, to, and you try and do the right thing, but when things go south, it is then it gets hard. Going to court, it, you need to have everything in order and you are best represented by someone. This isn't the best way or the way we want to get managements. Um, you know, we actually um, specialise. We're more than just property managers. So we really um, are an asset management firm and we year on year give you advice as to how you can increase the wealth in your asset, um, as well as obviously managing the, the property. We also have, and this is going to be a tiny ad for what we do, um, we also have immediate rent dispersals. So when your um, tenant pays the rent, you get paid. Um, we There's a lot more that we do, um, obviously, you know, depreciation and asset registers. Um, but the number one thing that we do is we ensure that the property is in tip-top shape and you can get the highest possible rent for your property. And we do that assessment every year. We tell you what capital works would need to be done to increase your asset um, and how that looks over the year or two years that the, the tenant is in. Okay, story time's over. Today I'm going to go and um, go to the Magistrates Court and, and file this um, Form 12. Uh, like I said, Rob is actually taking over um, a property in Alcamos, that same thing, you know, something has changed in her life and she's now $6,000 behind in her rent and the owner has not been able to recover it and doesn't actually have the tools to do it. Um, so, um, yeah, end of story time. I'm at work now. If anyone um, would like to discuss their property management um, or looking um, to find somewhere, we're also an advisory. So we will actually find a, um, a property that has a good yield. Anyhow, that's it. That's the end of the ad. It's now Wednesday and have a lovely day. And, um, yeah. It's sunny. Bye.